guys. So if you couldn't already tell, I'm at Fairview Mall because me and mom are going to the Apple store, right mom? And also just to walk around Fairview as well. But I wanted to go to the Apple store because Apple announced, well, pretty much everything in their September event. And we're gonna check out all the stuff, including the iPhone 13. So let's go. Check out that iPhone 13 Pro. Oh, it looks so cool. Hey guys, so we made it into the Apple store and I'm looking at the iPhone 13. This is the 13 mini. And so far, well, first of all, it feels exactly like my iPhone 12 mini. And then turning to the back, uh, when I was looking at the cameras, it definitely looks a lot bigger than I thought. I mean, obviously I knew it was kind of bigger, but I didn't know it was this much bigger. I'm kind of used to the diagonal camera design, and I don't know why, but it just looks like the camera is going off the edge. I don't know why it looks like that, but I also think the notch is pretty small. Um, I don't know why Apple put the ear speaker all the way to the top, but I'm pretty sure it's because they had to fit all the sensors inside the tiny notch. Uh, yeah, but so far for the 13 mini, I definitely think um, it is pretty cool. I like the smaller notch, and I actually think it's a good size, just like my 12 mini. And if I got the 13 mini, I think it would be a nice upgrade. And also, the red on the 13 and 13 mini is actually product red. I was also looking at the iPhone 13 Pro, and my god the cameras are just so big i mean you can probably see it in the video but you have to actually see it in person for how big the cameras are although after looking at this iphone hold on guys one second i just had to switch my camera but anyways i definitely gotta say it's a little on the big side i actually think now the size is tolerable but not actually comfortably usable although if you go on something like um, I guess this website, I gotta say the ProMotion technology in the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max's display is definitely really cool. It feels very fluid and fast to scroll rather than my iPhone 12 mini's display, which has a 60 hertz display. But yeah, I definitely gotta say the display is very smooth. I really like it. And when I was looking at the iPhone 13 Pro Max, just stop it. I mean, like, okay, the camera is at least the same size as the 13 Pro, but I mean, it's so heavy. I mean, before it was big, now it's big and heavy. I don't know why, but it feels like they increased the heaviness on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but at least you get the best cameras, biggest screen, and at least you get those features, but and gosh. Although I will say the Sierra blue color is pretty dang cool. And I also didn't talk about the iPhone 13, but I mean, there isn't really much to say. It's just a bigger version of the iPhone 13, but the size of an iPhone 13 Pro. And yeah, there's not really much to say about this. Although there's also the new cinematic mode on the iPhone 13 Pro and also the iPhone 13, but I'm just doing it on the iPhone 13 Pro because the camera also has a macro camera now. So if I go into the ultra wide camera, I don't know if you can see, but even if I am really Really close on this text it still has like amazing focus and if you capture a lot of like close shots I gotta say the macro camera on the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max is really cool and again if you take a lot of macro style photos I'd consider them and the last one I'm gonna check out is the new 6th gen iPad mini and after trying it out for some reason I feel like the bezels are a bit on the big side even though I'm pretty sure they're the same bezel size as the iPad Pro but considering that it's smaller yeah I guess it's gonna be kind of big. Although looking at it, it is very cool. I was actually surprised for how light it is. Like when you hold this in person, it is probably the lightest iPad Apple has ever made. Um, for some reason, it almost feels lighter than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And that just feels wrong to me. Um, although it does have second gen Apple pencil support, as you can see, this magnetically stitches on. The camera also has an ultra wide. Boom, ultra wide, and also just the standard wide if you want to go old school. Well, I won't say old school, but if you want to do the wide camera. And yeah, after looking at the iPad mini, it is pretty cool. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, it also has a flash on the back with a camera that sticks out, so it's guaranteed to be scratched if you put it backside at a table, unless you have these stands that Apple has at the Apple store. But overall, I think it's really cool. And also, that purple color. You just have to see it in person. Actually, it, the purple color looks a lot more faint than the Apple event, but it still looks amazing.
and this is what my iPhone would look like if I got the iPhone 13 mini. And if you're wondering why I didn't show the Apple Watch Series 7, well, for some godforsaken reason, Apple hasn't released it yet. Even though it says available later this fall, it's full and it's still not here. But hey, I'll let them take their time. But anyways, that's the end of this short video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.